I'm here again with Sarah Brito from The Neighbor Project. We just did a whole five minute video that uh, I didn't record, so that was fun. Um, but good news is we have a lot of practice and we're gonna do it again and it's gonna be better and you're gonna learn a lot about one of the best nonprofits, maybe the best nonprofit in Aurora, um, really financially helping people um, from the very beginning, uh, bank account, budgeting, all the way through home ownership and, and really beyond. So uh, I'm Dave Richard with EXP Homes. Uh, lived in the area for 45 plus years, been selling real estate here for 15. Uh, this is Sarah Brito. Uh, she works at the Neighbor Project and specifically in the Network uh, Savings Program, uh, which is excellent and mainly what I wanna talk about today. So uh, it's a program that really uh, helps families that uh, can uh, you know afford to live they can afford rent they pay for everything they need to pay for but just there's a gap there and this is a, an, an issue in America as a whole it's an issue in Aurora the Aurora area um, so again they can live but they have a hard time making up that gap of, of saving for home ownership college education things like that so that's where Neighbor Project comes in and this network savings program. So why don't you just tell us a little bit more about that, if you could. Yeah, sure. So the network savings program is actually a residential program through the Neighbor Project. So we own apartments on the east and west side of Aurora that we use for this. So after families are carefully screened, uh, it looks like the applicant will be ready to get a loan from a bank within two years if their credit and savings finances are in a well enough position that within two years they should be ready for a purchase. Uh, they're eligible for program and at that point they move into one of our savings units and they pay market value rent as they would anywhere else but we open up a trust account in their name and in our name uh, where they're putting a portion of that rent money every month to be saved uh, over the course of two years which totals a full savings of one full year's rent that by the end they're able to take that money which is usually between ten thousand and thirteen thousand dollars to be used as a down payment on a home purchase in aurora so the goal is to help stabilize these families and individuals by uh, gaining an asset, as well as stabilizing the community of Aurora. Mm -hmm. um, as you mentioned, they can also use that savings. Uh, if homeownership is not in their future, they can use that to be used towards uh, college for their kids or vocational training. Uh, so it can be used educationally, but the main goal is for home purchase. Yeah, yeah, and it's a fantastic program. I've seen it um, from start to finish, and you know the amount of help that it gives these families is amazing and to see the story and and there's a lot of really great stories on your website that kind of go through and, and uh, are really well done they kind of give a full story of what this program does so I would recommend going there and seeing it because it is amazing and uh, it's such a great concept um, that I haven't seen before but you know it, it's almost like you're not even taking anything from the, the people like they're they're paying everything they should pay it's just a benefit that they're getting the savings on the side um, and it's fantastic so um, there's a lot of buy-in from both sides which I think is great so um, I know you know uh, what's important to me and, and, and my company is mental physical financial um, health of our communities so you guys are obviously doing that financially but you do other financial things here as well to help people out so what are just a couple of those yeah so we have quite a spectrum of services we are just about to open the financial empowerment center yeah. uh, which will be the first of its kind in Illinois and mm -hmm. the goal of that is to really work with people who are unbanked or really struggling with credit so basic finances ensuring someone can gain some stability um, and start setting some goals for their finances beyond that we do home buyer counseling for those who are ready to purchase uh, the network savings program which I described and uh, we have a program called Safety First for families who own homes but are needing assistance with paying for a new um, home need, whether that's a new roof, radon mitigation, other services like that that can be costly. Mm -hmm. And we also have foreclosure prevention services for those who own homes but are running into some difficulties. Right, right. So yeah, I mean, the, the, the neighbor project really helps from beginning to the end um, I know that there are volunteer opportunities here yeah, for individuals and groups. Um, you can go to their website and find out more information about that. Um, also, obviously, any nonprofit that operates and does good in the community could use our help financially. 
So um, you have a monthly donor program, right, that people right. can get involved in. Um, so there are a lot of really great ways to get involved, whether you're an individual or a group or your family. Um, you know, so uh, it's just really one of the best uh, run nonprofits that I've seen. So, Sarah, thank you so much for sharing a little bit about us or about you, the Neighbor Project. And, um, you know, definitely go to their website and check out some of the great stories on there. And uh, again, my name is Dave Richard. I work at eXp Realty. If you need to buy or sell a home, definitely give me a call. Um, I would love to help. All right. So thanks again, Sarah. I really appreciate it. I hope this got it this time.